Good day to you, my dear brothers and sisters. I welcome you all to our Eucharistic celebration. Today is May 5, Wednesday of the fifth week of Easter. Pero bago tayo magsimula ng misa, I would like to invite you to pray with us the chaplet of the Divine Mercy. Grace is received by recitation of the chaplet of Divine Mercy. Our Lord said to the servant of God, Saint Faustina, unceasingly recite this chaplet that I have taught you. Whoever will recite it will receive great mercy at the hour of death. Priests will recommend it to sinners as a last hope of salvation. Even the most hardened sinner, if he recites this chaplet even once, will receive grace from my infinite mercy. Oh, what great graces I will grant souls who will recite this chaplet. By means of it, you can ask and obtain anything if what you ask for will be compatible with my will. I want the whole world to know my infinite mercy. I want to give unimaginable graces to those who trust in my mercy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood, blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I, I believe, believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our, our Lord, Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, 
Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Amen. Amen. Jesus, Jesus, King of mercy, I trust in you. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless, <clears throat> and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. O greatly merciful God, infinite goodness, 
Today, all mankind calls out from the abyss of its misery to your mercy, to your compassion, O God. And it is with its mighty voice of misery that it cries out. Gracious God, do not reject the prayer of this earth's exiles. O Lord, goodness beyond our understanding, who are acquainted with our misery through and through, and know that by our own power we cannot ascend to you, we implore you, anticipate us with your grace and keep on increasing your mercy in us that we may faithfully do your holy will all through our life and at the hour of death. Let the omnipotence of your mercy shield us from the darts of our salvation's enemies, that we may with confidence as your children await your final coming, that day known to you alone. And we expect to obtain everything promised us by Jesus in spite of all our wretchedness. For Jesus is our hope. Through his merciful heart, as through an open gate, we pass through to heaven. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Salamat po sa inyong pakikiisa at salamat sa ating prayer partner for today, Sister Mildred Herod. Thank you. Huwag po kayong maalis, diretso na po tayo sa ating misa. Our Mass for today is also the Thanksgiving offering of Tatay Godoy and Nani Medi Sandoval, Moises and Laura Evangelista and family, Mildred and Nini Heron and family, Lita Bauer on the occasion of her birthday today, and Ariel and Ferrizo on the occasion of their 16th wedding anniversary. We continue to bring to God the special intentions of all the members of the PGG service team, Amy Alcaide, Herta Nidermeyer, and Adelina Cortiguera. We continue to pray for the complete healing of Rachel Ann Valino Sumpit, Andrew San Buenaventura, Rosita Villanueva, Robin Jimenez, Susan Buendilla, Maria Cecilia Natividad, and Lisa Manalo. We remember our beloved dead, Euphemia, Tasio, Dori, Elpidio on the third day of death, and Sabina, 40th day of death. May they all rest in peace. Dear brothers and sisters, implanted by baptism in Christ, the true vine, and therefore by vocation and by our being Christians, we are called to be one in him, however we often fall apart into factions because of our background of land and culture, regionalisms and differences of language, social origins and classes, conservatives against progressives. So it was in the early church. Christians discriminated because of their pagan origins, different parties even among those of Jewish extraction. Are we any better? No wonder that we bear little fruit. Let the Lord prune and purify us and unite us all in Christ as branches on the same vine. We put ourselves in God's presence as we welcome him in his word and in his body and blood. Mm -hmm. Our entrance antiphone. Let my mouth be filled with your praise, that I may sing aloud. My lips shall shout for joy when I sing to you, Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear friends, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us now call to mind our sins. We ask the Lord for pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. 
May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Lord our God, loving Father, you have given us your Son, Jesus Christ, as the true vine of life and our source of strength. Help us to live his life as living branches attached to the vine and to bear plenty of fruits of justice, goodness, and love. Let our union with him become visible in our openness to one another and in our unity as brothers and sisters, that he may be visibly present among us, Jesus, now and forever. Amen. <clears throat> Some who had come down from Judea were instructing the brothers, unless you are circumcised according to the Mosaic practice, you cannot be saved. Because there arose no little dissension and debate by Paul and Barnabas with them. It was decided that Paul, Barnabas, and some of the others should go up to Jerusalem to the apostles and presbyters about this question. They were sent on their journey by the church and passed through Phoenicia and Samaria, telling of the conversion of the Gentiles and brought great joy to all the brethren. When they arrived in Jerusalem, they were welcomed by the church, as well as by the apostles and the presbyters, and they reported what God had done with them. But some from the party of the Pharisees, who had become believers, stood up and said, It is necessary to circumcise them and direct them to observe the Mosaic law. The apostles and the presbyters met together to see about this matter. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Let, Let us go, go rejoicing, rejoicing to the, the house, house of, of the Lord. Lord. I rejoiced because they said to me, We will go up to the house of the Lord. And now we have set foot within your gates, O Jerusalem. Let, Let us, us go rejoicing, rejoicing to the, to the house, house of the Lord. Lord. Jerusalem, built as a city with compact unity. To it, the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the, to the house, house of the Lord. According to the decree for Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord. In it are set up judgment seats, seats for the house of David. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. May we all rise to honor the Holy Gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Remain in me as I remain in you, says the Lord. Whoever remains in me will bear much fruit. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine grower. He takes away every branch in me that does not bear fruit, and everyone that does, he prunes so that it bears more fruit. You are already pruned because of the word that I spoke to you. Remain in me as I remain in you. Just as a branch cannot bear fruit on its own unless it remains on the vine, so neither can you unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit because without me you can do nothing. Everyone who does not remain in me will be thrown out like a branch and wither, 
People will gather them and throw them into the fire, and they will be burned. If you remain in me, and my words remain in you, ask for whatever you want, and it will be done for you. By this is my Father glorified, that you bear much fruit, and become my disciples. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Remain in me as I remain in you. Remain in me as I remain in you. Maybe this is the more difficult aspect of our Christian living, how to remain in the Lord. And maybe we have that experience already that uh, we experience backsliding, we experience sinning, we experience going away from the Lord. Remain in the Lord. That means we have to be consistent. We have to remain faithful to the Lord. We have to remain doing His commandments, even if um, oppositions are against us, all the more that we should remain faithful to the Lord, as He remains is in us. No? Remain in the Lord so that you will bear fruit. That is the purpose of remaining. No? We just don't remain as it is, but so that we will bear fruit. Maybe in this time, especially of the pandemic, almost 13, 14 months na po tayo, maybe these are the times already when people are losing hope, losing the joy of life, even losing the interest of life, and so many things that could have probably have happened. This is all the more that we should be remaining into the Lord, to remain faithful despite all these things. And the fruit of that you know, is peace still, the greatest fruit of the Spirit in us. The wish of that Jesus, that Jesus wish for all of us is the peace, despite what is happening to all of us. With Jesus, everything is possible. Without Jesus, we cannot do anything and we are nothing. So this is a reality that we should be uh, having. No? Sometimes, and many among us are embracing so much of the world that they cut themselves from Jesus. Jesus says, I am the vine and you are the branches. And remaining with the vine is the connectedness of the vine with, with, the, with the branch. We are the branches and Jesus is the vine. Sana lagi tayong magkakadugtong. So that the sap of life will be continuously flowing. The branch cannot live by itself. Cannot live by itself. You know, because the sap is coming from the vine. And that vine, that sap you know, should be continuously flowing in us. As I've said, Probably we are enjoying the world with our power, prestige, position, and possession, but apart from the Lord. And so maybe we're feeling feeling happy and peacefully, but I do not think so because it will always end up into not having peace in us because that is the fruit of being connected to the Lord. And so in whatever situation we are, we are being asked by the Lord to be connected to Him in prayer, no, in reading the scriptures, in the Eucharist, of course, these are the events that really connect us to the power source. Dapat hindi mapuputol. And not only now, but always. Remaining, that is the meaning of remaining. The first reading from the Acts of the Apostles, ni problema ang mga disciples, and that was still in the very early, very early stage of the church. Before, uh, maybe how many weeks, days ago, we have the first problem encounter. Remember the pastoral problem that many of the widows do not receive the necessary supply. So, hindi nagiging pantay-pantay yung distribution of the goods. And that's why they made a solution. They made a particular ministry for that and they assigned deacons. No, So, yeah, Stephen, Barnabas, all of them are deacons assigned to that. Today, we are presented with another problem. Medyo mabigat. It's a theological problem. Paano ba yung problema? Many of the, of, of course, the first recruits to Christianity, to, to follow Jesus, are Jews. The Jews. And of course, the Jews, they, they cannot give up immediately what they have learned, their background, their formation. Imagine it's their whole life. They were believing like that. And then here comes a new um, religion, so to speak, Christianity. And so... Yeah, what do they have to do with the uh, things that they have learned before? So many are still carrying that with, with them. And specifically, it is circumcision. Circumcision is not just um, for the Jews. It is a religious thing. No? 
the, the, the young male at the age of eight days is being circumcised, which is uh, the particular moment when the child is incorporated into the society. No? Remember, it is a male patriarchal society. And so every male at eighth day of birth will be circumcised, signifying that he is already a member of the Jewish community. No? Yan ang counterpart ng baptism natin with the Christians. With the baptism, we are incorporated into the body of Christ, the church. So yun yung kanilang parallelism. And so circumcision is very important for the Jews. Maybe nowadays, <laughs> In the world, some are circumcised for hygienic reasons or for whatever reason, but not religious. And so, yun ang problema ng mga Jews who were Christians. And in, in fact, they are imposing already or is suggesting strongly that before a Gentile, because they started to, to welcome also Gentiles into the church, non-Jews, uncircumcised people. And so, sabi ng mga circumcised Jews na Christians, these people, these Gentiles, before they be baptized, should also be circumcised. And they should embrace also the Mosaic tradition, the tradition from Moses. Medyo problematic yun, no? And so the Gentiles are, are circumcised. And so there was a big discussion uh, to the point that they, they sent Paul and Barnabas back to Jerusalem and confer it with the church, or, I mean with the leaders of the church, with the apostles, with Peter specifically. And of course, it's not yet given in here, but in the following days, we would know that it was a big discussion. Can you try to imagine that? Dapat bang tuliin yung mga hindi tuli bago maging kristyano? It's a big thing. And so the church has to make a decision on this. And eventually, we will realize there was the first council of Jerusalem. Kasi kung hindi napag-desisyon na ng maayos, maybe hindi pa nagtitake off yung young church doon, eh baka namatay na. Or baka it could have been the cause of split agad, no? Or division within the church. But look at that. They were driven by being remaining in Jesus. They were driven by the same spirit who is the sap, no? From the vine to the branches. And they decided to ask Jerusalem, to ask the apostles, what shall we do? They could have decided for themselves, definitely. But look at that. But because, as I've said, the Holy Spirit is in them, which is the sap for the unity of the church. That's another fruit of the Spirit. Unity of the church. And yeah, the Catholic Church is a united one. No? Kahit nasa angka, we are united by our faith. And so, yun. And Peter has so much to do with this also in the decision-making, signifying really his number one position in the church during that time and number one among the apostles. So... Yeah, back to the gospel. The branches, it's not only one branch from one vine. There are many branches. And the unity among the branches is the one that gives vitality no, to, to the vine. And so hanggat connected sila sa vine, they were all bare fruit. Again, that is the fruit. The fruit of peace, justice, love, and unity. Yun naman ang hinihingi, hinihingi na bunga. It's not really prosperity in life. It's not really success in life. No, it's more than that. It's love, loving the neighbor and loving God. It's unity in the belief, and we have that in the church, and most especially working for justice and peace. So yun po, I hope that we remain in the Lord. Sabi ko nga, madali magsimula, <laughs> pero tatagal ka ba? Would you remain in the Lord until the end of your life? Would you remain faithful? O, ningas kugon tayo. Sabi nga yung ningas kugon dito sa gospel, they will be collected, they will dry, and they will be burned. It's already pointing to a kind of destiny for those who will be cut off from the Lord. Hell, eternal damnation. I hope that we continue remaining with Jesus for the rest of our lives. Amen. Habang nakakatipon tayo bilang isang bayang sumasamba sa Panginoon, Ilapit natin sa Diyos na ating Ama ang ating mga pangangailangan ng may pagtitiwala. Walang hanggang tagapagtanim ng ubas, gawin mo kaming mabunga. Walang hanggang tagapagtanim ng ubas, gawin mo kaming mabunga. Ang pagkakaisang nagmumula kay Kristo, ang tunay na puno ng ubas, naway makahikayat sa lahat ng Kristiyano sa kanyang simbahan, manalangin tayo sa Panginoon. Walang, Walang hanggang tagapagtanin ng ubas, gawin mo aming mabunga. Ang mga pari, relihiyoso at mga misyonero 
naway maging tapat sa kanilang bukasyon sa simbahan at manatiling kaisa ni Kristo sa kanilang gawain. Manalangin tayo sa Panginoon. Walang hanggang tagapagtanin ng ubas, gawin mo kami mabunga. Ang mga nagdaranas na mga pagsubok at kahirapan sa buhay, naway manatiling tapat kay Kristo at sa Kanyang Ibanghelyo, manalangin tayo sa Panginoon. Walang hanggang tagapagtanin ng ubas, gawin mo kaming mabunga. Ang mga may sakit, naway tingnan si Kristo bilang bukal ng lakas at kagalingan, manalangin tayo sa Panginoon. Walang hanggang tagapagtanim ng ubas, gawin mo kami mabunga. Ang mga tapat sa Panginoon na namayapa, naway manatili kay Kristo magpasawalang hanggan, manalangin tayo sa Panginoon. Walang hanggang tagapagtanim ng ubas, gawin mo kami mabunga. Sa katahimikan ng ating puso, Itaas natin sa Panginoon ang lahat ng mga pamisa ngayong araw na ito, gayon din ang ating mga pansariling kahilingan. Panginoon, wala kaming magagawang anuman kung wala ka sa aming piling. Dingkin mo ang aming mga panalangin at panatilihin mo kami sa inyong pag-ibig. Hinihiling namin ito sa pamamagitan ni Kristong aming Panginoon. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. May the mingling of this water and wine bring us to the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us the cup of joy. Pray, my dear friends, that we and our sacrifice may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Lord God, loving Father, you planted your Son among us as the true life-giving vine. Let him give himself to us today as the bread of strength, and pour himself for us as the unifying life-giving wine, that we may live in him and he in us, and that we may bear fruits of unity, justice, and love. In Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to load you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross, and by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamp of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, Every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us now proclaim the mystery of our faith. Amen. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Christoph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Elpidio, whom you have called three days ago, and Sabina, whom you have called 40 days ago, from this world to yourself. Grant them who were united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in the resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and with all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to pray. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. Friends, brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be with you always. We offer one another Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us your peace. Brothers and sisters, this is Jesus, the unity of the world. He is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are invited to receive him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body and the blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life.
our prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Our communion antiphon, the Lord has risen and shown his light upon us, whom he has redeemed by his blood. Alleluia. Let us pray. Lord, our God, loving Father, we thank you for filling us with the sap of life from Jesus, our true vine. May we go on living in union with him and with one another, that in the uncertainties of life, we may go on believing, hoping, and building together a kingdom of love. And when we grope in the dark in days of trial, reassure us that you are purifying our faith and that you are always with us in people and in your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Maraming thank you sa inyong araw-araw na pakikiisa sa ating banal na misa. Maraming salamat din lagi. Brother Moises, evangelista for the media. Sister Mildred Heron, thank you for being a prayer partner. Also, we would like to thank um, Sister Jing and husband brother Chris de la Cruz for the first reading. And the sisters, Sister Mildred and Sister Nini Heron for the prayers of the faithful. Thank you. Kita-kita po ulit tayo bukas. Ah, Patuloy ang aming solicitation for pledges and for donations para sa ating Pabigas program in the Philippines for June 2021 until May 2022. Sana po ay tumugon tayo. The Lord be with you. May the good and loving Lord bless you always, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord in one another. Thanks be to God. Yeah. Mm -hmm.